Our very first horticultural graduate and professor in horticulture was Fabian Garcia. Fabian Garcia was in the very first graduating class. He had come to NMSU to study for a degree. He looked at um, onions, pecans, so he really introduced those to our area. And then probably most importantly for us here at the Chili Pepper Institute is that he um, introduced a new pod type that we call New Mexican to the American public. Um, Fabian had realized that the people in the area uh, only had chilies in their backyards. There was no industry. So he was wondering if he made a chili that was milder, more uniform, but high yielding so farmers would grow it, he could get non-Hispanics to eat chili peppers. So he began to intercross or hybridize uh, different chili types. Before Fabian Garcia developed the New Mexican pod type, there were many, many different types, just like we have today, the jalapeno, the basilla, the ancho, and everybody had to use different kinds of chilies to make different products. But now Fabian had a pod type or a chili that could do it all. You could stuff it, you could put it in salsas, and you could dry it and have red powder. So we had now one chili pepper that pretty much did it all. This is the New Mexican pod type that Fabian Garcia developed. These are young pods, but you can see they have the standard kind of shape that the New Mexican pods will have. And back in those days, anything that was spicy hot was considered Mexican food. So this became the standard for all the products produced in the United States. So we like to say that Fabian Garcia is really the father of the Mexican food industry in the United States. We know today that the cuisines of Mexico are very complex and they're very regional, but in that point in time and even to today, it's the chili that really makes a lot of the products we consider Mexican food. Um, Fabian had so much impact at the university that our horticulture farm here on campus is named the Fabian Garcia Science Center. And he, he did a lot of in innovative things for research that we use today. One of them was the uh, furrow ridge farming technique that uh, when, when Fabian first started looking at chili peppers, people grew it on a flat surface, flat ground. But he realized that if th we put the chilies up on a mound or a ridge, they could drain the waterway and he'd get less of a disease called chili wilt at the time they, were, they had problems with. And so this ridge furrow method became the standard. And we use it on a lot of vegetables today. As farming changes over time, we have to change with the farming practices, have varieties that do well. But it always goes back to Fabian Garcia's concept of getting non-Hispanics to eat chili peppers. Eye on Research is a production of New Mexico State University.